guys, what's up? It's me, Joni. Today I'm going to show you some very simple things in After Effects. Uh, first off, I'm just going to be doing like a bunch of short tutorials, so yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm just going to make a new composition. I'm going to right-click and make a new solid, just like that. Very easy. So with these solid colors, there's lots of ways to make a uh, background. So I might do a background tutorial, but for now, you just want to choose, I don't know, I like doing dull colors. But you can do whatever kind of color you really want. I'm going to do a light pink because pink is beautiful. I am colorblind, so if I do get colors wrong, don't get mad at me. Anyways, we are going to show you how easy ease. And easy easing is basically just smooth movement. So here, I'll, I'll give you an example of what I mean. So if I'm going to be making a new shape layer. I'm going to open this up and hit add, uh, and I'll make it a rectangle. And I'll hit add a uh, stroke, and then I'll make this stroke a little more thick. And then there we go. We have a beautiful square. It's amazing. So if we go to our position here, and we'll just say it, this square starts here. Let's so make it start on the side. So if we keyframe the position by clicking the stopwatch, then let's go. I want to go two seconds just to show you the effect. Uh, full example now normally you wouldn't go this long but there you go so there is our movement so right now we have this this is boring this sucks like you I can show you guys how to make this 10 times better so what you want to do is you want to select this and you want to hit F9 if the F9 doesn't work for whatever reason then you can also uh, right click it Right click while selecting both of them, create frame assistant, and easy ease. So you're um, already going to see some noticeable effects. So let's open up our graph editor so we can see this more. So right now we see it's starting out fast. No, I mean it's starting out slow, then speeding up, then slowing down again. Now this is an awesome effect, and we want to make this even more. So what we're going to do is here, let me... You're going to select this thing, and then you're going to pull the yellow lines closer together. Now, what you might have is you might have, like, this diagonal curvy line going up. Same thing. You just want to pull the yellow uh, little lines closer together. And really, it depends on what you want in the effect, but this changes everything. Doesn't that look so much better? Now, there are other things you can do with this. So, you can move this over here, and then if you keep this right here, then it's going to go super quick, then slow down. Now, that's an effect that can be used. Same thing, vice versa. You can have uh, this, it goes super slow, and then fast at the end. Boom. Magical. You can use this for position, you can use this for scaling, you can use this for rotation, it really any movement you want. So I'll be getting with you guys with more tutorials in the future.